it's Brooklyn and I am filming a moving out vlog. It is currently 2 a.m. 2 o'clock in the morning. I have taken basically all the wall decor off of my walls, you can see. And I've organized basically all of the stuff inside of my cabinets and my drawers. Oh, it's so echoey in here because it's so empty. But I've got my bathroom drawers and stuff all empty. And the monster, the beast, my closet. I just emptied my entire closet. That's all the hangers, literally a ton. These are the shoes I'm leaving for Bailey. I don't want them. Comment down below if you guys want me to do like an apartment slash townhome tour of my new place in Utah. But yeah, I'm moving into a new place that has like a shoebox or a closet. So I'm literally going from this literal monstrosity to like two cabinets for a closet. So I had to downsize a lot. So I've got all my stuff organized into bins and I've got them labeled to like this one's bathroom, but that one's like my closet. I've got shoes, my laundry basket. This one's like summer. These ones over here are winter clothing items. And then this is all like my actual room decor slash wall decor. This is actually a hack my mom taught me when we moved. So so if you have like these miscellaneous bins or boxes, when you're moving, you just label them. If somebody else is helping you move in, they know where to put the box when they move in. So that kind of already helps organize some stuff so that you don't have to like sort through boxes and then move them after everybody leaves. I always think that's really helpful whenever we've moved in the past. Also, this is the first time I've ever moved by myself. So I have literally packed up, organized, cleaned everything by myself. The only thing that I'm getting help on is I'm having like a friend and my dad and Camry help me drive there and move my stuff in but literally i'm like buying furniture and just everything by myself full on adulting like so adult things guys independent five and yes please don't judge me i am 21 years old and i do own a cleaning caddy i realize that that may age me 40 years but that boy's been through a lot with me if you have jewelry number one i literally bought this old wire door frame i don't know if you can see like the wire on it frame and i made these like little metal hooks that i just poked through and then literally all my jewelry hangs on it. So my necklaces, my bracelets, my earrings, my chokers, it all hangs on this little door frame. And then usually I either like lean it against the wall like this in the closet or I'll like lean it or hang it in a bathroom. And it's like a cute way to store jewelry. But also I saran wrap my jewelry when I move so that if like anything falls during the move, like it just stays saran wrapped to the thing and I don't like lose something. So another moving hack for you guys if you didn't know. Good morning, you guys. So today is officially the day that Brooklyn is moving out. So I don't know if you guys know this, but we have lived together our entire lives. We were still sharing a room as like June, no, sophomores in college. Still sharing a room until we moved into our house and then we separated into our own rooms. We still lived together. We were still roommates until we were done with senior year. And now Brooklyn's officially moving to Utah. The longest we've ever been apart is 10 days. And now she's about to be gone for at least eight months, if not a year. Yeah, today's gonna be be kind of a sad day. So, <laughs> we'll have to say goodbye today. And <laughs> I'm doing okay, but I just try not to think about it too much until it, it comes around, because I'll get really sad. So today's gonna be very emotional, hence why I'm not wearing any kind of makeup, because <laughs> I'm just gonna cry it off. But I not only had to say goodbye to Brooklyn, but I had to say goodbye to Finn. It sucks, so. Um, yeah, that's what's happening today. That's it. <laughs> that's all. Just wanted to introduce them. So I have like this whole crew of people to me, Bailey, Asa, my dad, Camry. We have like a bunch of us that are here right now and we are hiking down to Waco today to start packing up all my stuff in a U-Haul and then driving up here for the night and then we're gonna start our long haul drive to Utah tomorrow. So I'll be showing you guys all of the fun packing stuff we're gonna do today. Okay, we've got the crew here. We've got the couch out. We've got this white thing out and we're taking apart the bed at the moment. We've got a good amount of people helping right now. Just a little bit stressful. Lots of stuff going on and it was pouring rain. So we were originally gonna have to move all my furniture in the rain. I'm happy that it kind of stopped raining at the moment because I don't have to worry about that as much. I'll show you the truck and what in the process of what's being loaded. All right, we got the guys over here working on the couch. Nice work. So far, pretty empty. The hardest part is dealing with the bed. If somebody can find the- Taking this apart is gonna be very difficult. Hashtag stress. You need to take one of them. Very stressed. 
Y'all, I am doing the fun cleaning of my bathroom. You guys can see it's all shiny and blue. And we are just finishing up some of the final touches of the move. Cleaning is a thumbs up. And I've got a great squad helping me right now. So for a quick little explanation, if you guys are confused, Brooklyn and I have never lived apart. We lived apart in total, never. But we've been apart for like the longest ever. It's like 10 days. So this is about to be crazy. But if you're confused, no, I am not moving with Brooklyn because I'm getting married. So I'm actually staying in Texas and moving to like a little apartment later. Um, but Brooklyn's moving to Utah now. So she leaves literally tomorrow morning at like 6 a.m. Right, Camry? Yeah. So that's to clear up any confusion if you guys are like, are you going with her? Why is she moving? She just felt like she wanted to change. She graduated. She wanted to go to esthetician school. And Camry's up in Utah and so is a bunch of our family. And so that's kind of her next step. She feels like she just wants to go there and figure out everything and then end up possibly coming back to Texas later. So that's kind of why it's happening. I'm sad about it because she won't be with me. But I think it'll be really good for her. You're over here like scrubbing down. Dishes and everything. Yep. I can't hold my hand still because it's so hot outside. I'm like shaking. And it's hot. It's really humid. Okay, y'all. So we have done some Tetrising and we managed to get everything that I own into this U-Haul. Granted, I credit Asa 100% for that because I was cleaning most of the time. But yeah, we've got a few miscellaneous items left over. But our truck is pretty much packed and ready to go. We finished packing up the truck. And I have to say bye to my room and this house and all my friends. And I'm trying not to be a big crybaby about it. But this was a solid two, two, two and a half years of my life. And I'm very emotional. So it's my last goodbye. <sighs> goodbye to the house. So many memories on this couch, watching TV with all my roommates, so many 4 a.m. conversations. I raised Finn in this house on this carpet. So many meals cooked in this kitchen. Good friends right there. Guys, we are Going to BJ's. They don't have like, BJ's in Utah. No, they don't. So I don't get to have pizookies in Utah. So of course we're doing a last hurrah. We're doing dinner and pizookies at BJ's. Woo! And then we're gonna hang out and do some fun stuff tonight. Because it's uh, our last day together. So sad. <laughs> We've got a few more hours and then I leave tomorrow morning at like 6 a.m. Sad. So. Last hurrah, let's go. Okay guys, it's super late. It is the night before we have to say goodbye. They're getting up at like- In like four hours. In like four hours. I mean, why am I still late? I don't know. We're all uh, sleeping together for the last night. Brooklyn's already passed. I'm half on this bed right now. I know, I'm, I'm, on, the, I'm on the edge. Yeah, you're not on the edge. Oh, definitely. <laughs> but she's, she's already, she's gone. And we're getting thin snuggles too at the end of the bed. Anyway, so yeah, that's what's happening. Good morning, you guys. It's about 6 a.m. And it's time to say goodbye to Brooklyn. I'm pretty sad. Yeah. Evidence. I'm sure the tears will flow heavily. I'm just waiting right now, they're packing up the car. Pretty sad. Let's get to it. I forgot to mention, we've had a ton of questions about whether or not, like what the plan is for the channels and the Instagram and all that stuff. We've mentioned this before in videos, but we're planning on posting like usual. That will stay consistent. Nothing about that will change. You just might see us separate in videos instead of together, or if we are together, we won't be like physically together. Or when we are together, we'll just like binge film a bunch of videos. And then for the Instagram, we're not going to split Instagrams. We're actually just gonna post like a mix of content 
and so sometimes I'll be posting, sometimes she'll be posting, and when we're together, we'll post pictures together. So it's just gonna kind of be the same thing as usual, and usual. nothing's gonna change about that. The only thing that's changing is where Brooklyn is living. Think about me one more time before you go for far too long And now you're gone And now I'm lost Officially said goodbye. That's the map. Now we're heading back to Waco. But Jack's being a really good boy. He's giving me all the love. I'm being a good boy. Mm -hmm. He's like, huh? That was really sad. <laughs> I'll probably cry some more later. But I hope they have a safe drive. I know they've got more to film. A little bit and then there's also gonna be a moving in video so you have to watch that one for the rest of the content but my part of this story is officially done until she comes back but like I said we'll keep continuing YouTube and Instagram like nothing ever happens you guys don't need to worry about that um, anyway so yeah that's it <laughs>